بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک فارورڈ آر ڈسکشن آف دا رول آف گورنمنٹ اینڈ گورنمنٹ ایز اے اسٹیک ہولڈر ایز اے ریگولیٹر آف دی ادر اسٹیک ہولڈرز اینڈ اسپیشلی دی کارپوریٹ انسٹیٹیوشنس اینڈ دا کارپوریشنس ان دا کانٹیکسٹ آف کارپوریٹ گورننس ایز اے ہول آن اے نیشنل لیول لیڈیز اینڈ جنرل ان دا پاسٹ وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ Uh, what the government should be doing, what government regulations are about, what are the different type of regulations and how do they impact the industry and the corporate sector. Today, we are going to talk about how government can nurture the relationship with business and how they can interface with the corporate sector and with the industry in a better way. Now, when we are talking about uh, the role of government, uh, the first most important thing is that it prescribes the rules of the game. So, The government, uh, just like mentioned in our last session, uh, basically there are three pillars. One, the legislature, which promulgates the laws. Two, the executive, which tends to implement those laws. And thirdly, the judiciary, which interprets those laws. Now, the government as a whole is basically the prescriber of the rules of the game. They basically see that within the ambit of the culture, environment, circumstances, local, national and global players, they work out what are the best set of rules and regulations and laws forward. And that is the role of the government. It is also a major purchaser of the output of the businesses. So, uh, for example, if nowadays we see that there is a boom in the construction sector in Pakistan, then it is because the government has set construction industry and housing sector as a priority and they are providing easier loans, lesser interest and providing land and many other facilities due to which we see that a lot of business is being generated in the construction and the housing sector. It uses its contracting power to get the business to do the, doing the things that it wants. So just like I was mentioning that because it is focusing on the housing and construction sector, therefore now many companies are booming and many foreign investors are also coming in, banks are coming in, so various stakeholders are now playing their role, how they can move forward with the construction and the housing industry. It promotes and subsidizes the business. So yes, it is promoting the housing and construction industry, and it does subsidize also different businesses. Uh, for example, it, uh, it is, it is uh, giving some uh, very good uh, automobile policies, whereby it is uh, actually promoting uh, electric vehicles and electric motorcycles. Uh, many a times it subsidizes businesses. That basically means that uh, it can subsidize wheat, it can subsidize other eatables, uh, it can subsidize uh, the uh, production of electricity, and, and many other subsidies also, uh, which uh, would be in our daily lives. So the role of the government is either to promote or to subsidize a particular business, and that is very, very important. Uh, it is also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the architect of economic growth. It protects interests of the society against business exploitation. That is very important. Like in Pakistan, we have the monopoly control authority. Uh, we also uh, have uh, various other regulatory bodies like FBR, like uh, State Bank of Pakistan, uh, like the Securities Exchange Commission of Pakistan. Uh, we also have uh, the uh, com competition authority. We also have the corporate governance uh, institutions. So all of these different institutions uh, and bodies tend to Uh, protect the society from exploitation by businesses and by very large businesses which we talked about in our previous section. It directly manages large areas of private business. So again, yes, uh, it, it uh, basically engages uh, with the large businesses and it is a national security protector also because uh, just like we saw in Rikodik uh, when this gold contract was given, then the government intervened uh, because that is a strategic national resource and it could not have been just given just like that. Uh, and it would have been detrimental uh, to uh, the globe, uh, to our national economy and also to the uh, local landscape of Balochistan. So similarly, in other areas too, it basically sees uh, that uh, where uh, protection is required, uh, where safeguards have to be given, uh, like uh, we see the Anglo Coal project in Tharpakar. Over there also, uh, uh, the, the state is providing the security uh, to Anglo, which is a private entity. So again, we see that wherever there are Uh, mutual interest, the government plays the role uh, of a protector to the private industry so that they can do things in a better way. And that is something very, very important. The government should be proactive uh, in the following areas. 
protection of stakeholders interest through continuous monitoring and that is extremely important so that the large stakeholder does not take over and there has to be continuous monitoring so that the corporate sector remains aware that they cannot uh, subjugate or they cannot uh, they cannot side sideline the laws rules and regulations uh, making rules of the game by devising different laws just like i was mentioning earlier it promulgates laws uh, like it has promulgated 149 Uh, labor laws to ensure that labor is not exploited uh, it it uh, has promulgated different accountability laws uh, it has uh, promulgated different uh, finance related laws it has promulgated different uh, corporate laws uh, it has basically formed the securities exchange commission to ensure that there is corporate governance uh, within the country so all of these things are taking place uh, and then it can uh, penalize companies for not following rules yeah so there can be penalties so that companies uh, are also aware that uh, they would face Uh, a loss if they don't do something uh, they can appoint regulators to regulate the certain sectors and that is also a very important just like i have mentioned so many a uh, government should portray itself uh, corruption free so that companies can follow its worthy example so again what we see is that uh, the 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 government has to be a role model the government has to show that there is transparency there is meritocracy uh, there is um, there is accountability uh, that there is self discipline that there is no nepotism no favoritism no discrimination no exploitation uh, so all of these things have to be ensured by the government so that it can be followed by different corporate institutions transparency and accountability should be the key principles for any company and for any government the removal of the license system for several industries is also uh, required because through licensing you basically tend to impede business you control business and free flow of business does not play there is no free competition because whoever gets the license Uh, tends to have an advantage over the others who do not have a license. So all of these things are extremely important, and licensing business should actually be stopped uh, by the government. Uh, more autonomy should be granted to the public sector enterprises so that they can compete with the private sector enterprises and become self-sustainable and also generate uh, profits, windfall profits actually for the government. Uh, because these are usually uh, standalone institutions. Look at the steel mills in Karachi. Uh, well, yeah, for a long time PIA was alone. Look at Pakistan Railways. uh look at wabda look at uh, ntsc national transmission uh, company uh, so look at the different uh, uh, the different uh, escos that means the electric supply companies uh, they are all they are all government owned but they have to become more efficient more effective uh, more modern more transparent more technology prone uh, whereby they can compete uh, and become a benchmark for other companies to follow uh, the thana culture has to be reduced because unfortunately the police uh, have uh, unwitted unbridled uh powers and they can exploit them and many a times uh, they can also embarrass the industry or create problems for the industry so that thana culture and thana mafia has also to be reduced uh, drastically and controlled through laws through regulations uh, and through uh collaborative uh, liaison committees so those committees should comprise of civil society of the corporate sector and of the government and they should uh, basically be controlling and ensuring that proper policing is being done and the police is there to protect and ensure uh, the freedom and rights and liberties of the individuals and also of the industry rather than to create a suffocation and exploitation uh, there should be a greater degree of competition in industries and that is also extremely important that the government has to promote uh, that competition so ladies and gentlemen uh, based upon uh, these a few points that i was uh, discussing you can see that the government plays a very major role it should be proactive uh, it should be effective it should be efficient it should be technology prone it should be forward looking uh, it should be able to empathize with the corporate sector it should be able to uh, negate the negative forces so that the economy becomes more conducive to words uh, businesses uh, the economy can attract more foreign direct investment fdi and the economy can create more jobs uh, especially for the youth bulge of 60% plus of pakistan so all of these things are very important and government is a role model and government is a facilitator to the private sector thank you so much